What's up guys, we're inside today because even in April, we're not safe from winter in Canada. It's cold and snowy, and gross outside. And what does a car guy like me do in the snow? Obviously you go drifting. Well, I tried that, unfortunately, even though we got over 10 centimeters of snow, it's just a little bit too warm out and the roads are just kind of a slushy mess. So there's, uh, yeah, not enough snow for drifting. I just ended up with some boring video of me driving around and a very dirty car. Today I want to talk about Buick. Now, I'm actually a really big fan of Buick. I personally own a 2011 uh, Regal Turbo. So the New York Auto Show is going on and Buick has released the 2018 Regal Sportback and Tour X. I was really excited for this release because Buick has been on a roll lately. The Avista concept that they came up with last year was absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait for them to actually build that thing, if they do. And of course as a Regal owner myself, I was pretty excited for these things to come out. But unfortunately, Buick let me down. Let's start with the sport back. From the front it doesn't look too bad, I don't mind the front at all. But from that back end, it just looks fat and ugly. It looks like an, a balloon that somebody's holding up like this and it's like, you know. And I understand they're going for utility with the hatchback, but I just think there's a better way they could have done it. The car looks bloated, it looks cheap, and even the wheels, I don't like any of it really. It's just bad. The previous generation I think is a very good looking car, it's very handsome. I'm going to put both of them on the screen here. So on the right you see my own personal Regal and on the left is the new Regal. And I, I think the old one looks way better, I'm really disappointed with this new design. But all hope was not lost because they also have a wagon version of the Regal and I love wagons so this was like, this was the one I was really waiting for. But unfortunately Buick ruined that one as well. So here's a picture of the Opel Insignia wagon. This is the one in Europe that the Regal is based on. Beautiful car I think. I love this design. Very sleek, very elegant, very modern looking car. I would love to own one myself. But uh, here's what we're getting in North America. For the North American market, Buick has raised the ride height of the car and added some ugly black fender flares and moldings across the bottom of the car and completely destroyed the elegant look, in my opinion. The ironic thing is that Buick has been going on for years about how they're trying to appeal to a younger audience. And yet Opel gives them this beautiful wagon and they turn it from a sleek city cruiser into a soccer mom's dream. And unfortunately that's just the way our market works. Wagons don't sell in North America, people want crossovers. So that's why we get this. One thing I do like about the new Regal though is the interior. And although I am absolutely not a fan of touchscreens in modern cars, this does look like a very nice interior. I think the design is a huge step up over the old one. And if it follows the trend of other recent Buicks, I think it's going to be really good quality, even if the materials are a little bit cheap. But I mean, it's a Buick, it's not a Cadillac. Can't have everything. As for powertrains, it looks like the new Regal is retaining the 2.0-liter turbo from the previous generation, which is not a bad thing at all. It's a very smooth motor, very torquey. The exciting bit is that the next GS is rumored to have a V6. It'll probably be the 3.6 out of the Camaro, so good for about 330 horsepower. That's pretty exciting. And we can cross our fingers, they make it in a wagon version and ditch that stupid plastic cladding. And now from styling fail to styling win, I'll leave you with the 2018 Acura TLX. This is a mid-cycle refresh and Acura has ditched the ugly chrome beak and gone with a much more conventional style grille, but I think it's much more handsome. This is a very good looking car. And if you look closely at the grille, they've actually got some neat textures in there. It almost looks like a Mercedes grille, which is not a bad thing at all. Very, very good looking car. Well done, Acura. That's it for today. Like and subscribe to this video. Check me out on Instagram and I'll see you next week.